With breaking news in Licking County, that's where an overturned truck is leaking potentially toxic material into Raccoon Creek near Newark. The scene from Sky 6 earlier today, this all happening along Cherry Valley Road, about a mile from Route 16. That area has been closed for about eight hours, and it could be morning before it's open again. ABC 6's Luann Stoya has been on the scene all day. She joins us live with the latest on the cleanup and the condition of the driver of that truck. Luann? 52-year-old Miles Bauman was taken to OSU Medical Center where we're told he was suffering from serious head injuries. Now that rescue happened about 8.30 here. Take a look. Crews have been working nonstop here since that rescue, doing what they can to minimize the impact of the toxic chemical spill. You can also see over here where they are preparing to lift out some containers off of that truck that is below. Containers full of toxic chemicals that's making and taking a major manpower to clean up. Investigators want to know what caused a semi-truck driver to veer off the bridge and crash into the Raccoon Creek below. First responders say diesel fuel, along with sulfuric and phosphoric acid, is spilling into the water. It's scary for people who live nearby. Just a big thud. <laughs> no splash ring, just a big boom. You could almost feel it in the ground because I'm not that far away from it. 85-year-old Charlie Franks has lived here most of his life. He says it's tough to see the chemical scum on the water, and dozens of fish have been killed here. Containment booms are set up, but wildlife is at risk. That's a carp out there. First, the bass went, and the bass seemed to come to the top fighting for air, and then pretty soon they just turn over and... And then they just floated on down the creek. EPA and wildlife experts are monitoring the environmental impact. It is something that you do not want on your skin, and wildlife, it, it is dangerous to wildlife. Uh, the situation has happened, and, and it's our job to mitigate that. Police say the city's studying the bridge after two other major truck accidents here, one a fatal in May 2007, the other in 2009. We can't speculate on, on what the causes are or if there's even a pattern. There's a lot of traffic on this road. And I just talked to the police chief from Newark out here. No word yet on whether the driver of that semi will be charged. Crews will be offloading the chemicals from the semi. Then they'll have to be lifted out in order to lift that truck out of the water. They'll then get a tow truck to bring in here. It's unclear whether workers can safely continue to work on this job. As dark sets in, we are told that they are bringing lights in to help workers. For now, we're live in Newark. Lou Amstoya, ABC 6 News.